welcome back. Finally, I'm at the dregs, I'm at the end of my tea. Um, finally, I have got got round to filming my autumnal home tour. So welcome. I was a bit dubious about doing this because um, I just felt like it's not very exciting. I don't decorate my house to the max. I just add a little few touches, but do you know what? There are people out there like me and not everyone goes full on autumnal, fill every room in the house. So maybe you can pick up some inspiration. Maybe you find this quite nice to watch. I'm not sure, but this is my house at autumn. I do do a lot more for um, for Christmas, I say Halloween then, for Christmas. Um, so again, like I say, I do feel like no sooner have you put everything up for autumn, you've got to take it all down and do Christmas. So I tend to make a bigger deal of Christmas time. But nonetheless, here is my autumn walkthrough. I hope you like it and let's get on with the home tour. Okay, so the front door has had a bit of a makeover. It needs a full makeover to be honest. My, my door is very old, but this is a handmade wreath. I don't know if I actually put this up on my channel. If I did, I'll link the video on how to make an autumnal wreath. I've got a feeling I did. Um, but yeah, I made this wreath, attached it to the door, and that's the first thing you see on this magical autumn tour. Okay, I've got some autumn coffee shop vibes going. I love having this on in the day. Um, right, Olive's having a nap, so let's start the tour. I did think, oh, I should remove all the baby stuff for the aesthetics, but I thought, no, like, let's be realistic here. I have a baby, so therefore it's staying in. Right, let's go around all the little bits that I've added in for autumn. It's not very exciting. I shouldn't really say that. To okay, like the true pro that I am, my battery died. Um, so, 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 we're back. But Sesame Street's on in the background. It's not the coffee shop ambiance that we were having before when Olive was having a nap. But here we are. We're back. I'm just going to do my best I can around my baby who is in her bouncer watching Sesame Street. So here we are in the lounge. Um, this little autumnal vase is from HomeSense. And it wasn't expensive. I think it was only like $9.99 or something. And that just graces the... I don't have much on my window because I always worry about the blinds like knocking it over and stuff. So onto the sofa, um, I get out my checkered, what's it called, buffalo, mm, is it like a buffalo check? I don't know. My throw, that was also from TK Maxx Home Sense years ago. Um, cushions do not change apart from this little handmade pumpkin that one of my friends made me years ago. Um, I just popped that there because I think it looks really cute. I tried to get hold of the Aldi ones. There were some Aldi pumpkins um, that my friend told me about, Chelsea. But I haven't been able to find them. So I think they've been nabbed up. Um, Olive is self-made, isn't she? You can't buy her. But talking about cushions, coming over to this section. Hello, baby. You're not in with the aesthetics, are you? But you're still cute. You're still my little pumpkin. Um... I've got my Get Cozy cushion that I pop on my little armchair. Do you like that? Hello. And I've got my glass pumpkin again, which is from TK Maxx, Home Sense, years ago. Um, I've seen um, a girl I follow called Ashley, actually, Ash Mama Reed. She sprayed this with like a stone effect um, spray paint and it looked incredible. So I'm very tempted to just switch that up. Although I do like that I've got a bit of orange in this corner. Um, haven't changed much on this main wall apart from I've popped some of the um, potpourri sort of little popcorn pumpkins there and then I've got my pumpkin love candle which is by Ray Dunn out I promise I will burn that this year um, and then over to the telly very seasonable very seasonal um, alphabet counting um haven't changed much on here either apart from i've added my um bear burners candle to the mix because i think it looks quite sweet and autumnal and then i've got this bowl which i showed you in my haul that so was new for autumn and i filled it with some of the potpourri and some little acorns and bits and bobs i do want some fur cones to go in there and what i'll do at christmas i can recycle this and use it for christmas scents but oh there's one more thing my witch's shoes. <laughs> Normally, these go outside on my doormat, but um, I'm just worried about them getting nicked. 
so you know they're inside and they'll do um so yeah that it's not anything special in my lounge i don't go fully out anywhere for autumn in here but it's nice enough isn't it should we put your sound on your bouncy back on now you can go ah oh, you can go crazy there we go how fun mummy's gonna film in the kitchen okay right let's move into the kitchen and again this is like the last room that i really decorate for autumn so let me turn some lights on i was trying to make it look cozy but instead it just looks cold um, i'm gonna start you in this corner again please excuse that i do have a baby and that we're not 100 percent aesthetic over here um i have this in here all the time because it's just a great storage solution my cake stand from mms and on it i've got this little burner this pumpkin burner that i had from bear burners for years now I've got two little pumpkins from Amazon. I've got the rest of the potpourri that we used in the bowl in the lounge. I've got this Happy Harvest metal sign, which I do want to say is from America. I was given this by one of my lovely friends and um, she goes to America every year and she bought it back for me. Um, these are a new addition that I probably haven't spoken about. <laughs> You're either going to love or hate these and they're not very autumnal, but they're here. And my plan for these is, because I've got kind of like a traditional style kitchen slash farmhousey feel um farmhouse lux i'd call it <laughs> with the marble and stuff i really want these to sit on top of my cooker hood um area this i'm sure it's got like a proper name to it but i saw these in home sense and i just loved them i was like they're a bit tacky but also like could with some eucalyptus in the right setting i think these are going to look amazing so see no hear no speak no evil piggies and they're only a tenner each I know, you're probably thinking I'm mad. My husband definitely does. He's like, what on earth are they? But they're, they're there for the time being, okay? Um, nothing new there. Um, let's take you over to the island um, where I've made this little section. I normally do like a hot chocolate section. But I'm trying not to drink too many hot chocolates at the moment. <laughs> um, but it's a holiday um, and I need to get my life in check basically so on this little um stand which i actually got last year on my friend rosie henshaw's just ignore the ninja in the background um recommendation i think it was from amazon um if i can find the link i'll pop it down and um, i've got my little felt i call him like a little guy forks i'm not sure that what he is um but he's holding a pumpkin and he's made out of felt and I love him. Um, then I've got Oh My Gourd Candle, which is Ray Dunn. I've got these little pumpkins again scattered around. I've got a Sean creeping around in the background. I got this little candle. I just thought it was very autumnal, even though the scent is like ocean. Um, but I liked the little beads on it. And um, that was from Home Sense. A rather dubious looking shaped pumpkin. Um, a Ray Dunn mug number one and a ray done tug a ray done mug number two i got this meet me at the pumpkin patch sign from gates garden center that was only 2.95 that was a recent purchase i thought it was rather good and yeah that's just that little section there then i've got this lovely pumpkin wooden little it does hang i think yeah it does but i just shoved it behind there that was from the range and then i've got another one similar to that hanging down here now i do believe you can paint these but I quite like them as they are. Coming over to the, this is what I mean about my cooker bit. This is like my favorite bit in my kitchen. And I was like hell bent on having this, even though the people that did the kitchen didn't understand my vision. They're like, what do you mean? I was like, I want this. <laughs> I want it to look like Victorian -y style, but not. And it, one thing that annoys me is it's actually not central, but what can we do? Like, what can we do? It is what it is. So up here is my favorite place to theme things on like the holidays. So I've got my, my normal sweet jar, but I've also popped at the back, if you can see, a big line of eucalyptus, just a big garland sort of thing that I keep up there for Christmas. So it goes up and I keep it there for Halloween and Christmas. And I've popped on some more of the little um, pumpkins. I will link everything. It's probably a bit late now, but most stuff is from Amazon and HomeSense. So it would come pretty quick. Um, then I picked up this spray of berries um, and I just tucked them in behind this pumpkin um, display, which was only $24.99 from HomeSense, which I thought was just beautiful. Um, and then another spray there and then some more pumpkins. And I just think it looks really, really pretty. Also for Christmas, and I was gonna pop them in now, but I thought, no, wait, Tiff. I got some of these little berries from the garden center as well. I thought they would look quite nice poked in. Um, on my hob as such, um, I've got this little um, 
casserole dish that's never been used for casserole. I think the best we've ever used it for is for crisps. I'm not a casserole kind of gal. So it's just there for decoration, of course. Isn't most things in people's houses. Um, then I've got my pumpkin love mug, which has got a cute little pumpkin topper hanging out on the um, windowsill in the kitchen. Little Frank is there. I like to theme, you know, my cloths. So we've got a purple and green thing going on there. Very Halloween-y. And then over here where we make our drinks and stuff, I've got the little um, leaf spoon holder like spoon rest but i actually use it for tea bags um so there's a little fun tip for you um and then i actually bought these for christmas you know but they are out all year long because i just think they're so lovely and i do struggle finding nice sugar coffee and tea canisters but i absolutely love this this was a recent buy from home sense i think it was only nine pounds um it's not full of anything but it's just there to look pretty and i think it does i think oh now I wasn't going to show you this because I've managed to um, pick a day where Grace has decided to do a pee on the mat. But we're just going to go with it because this will be going in the wash afterwards. Um, this is my lovely welcome mat that Grace has obviously decided to deface. <laughs> Tell me you've got a little dog without telling me you've got a little dog. She sees mats as like puppy pads so every night we normally have to like lift it up and shove it down that side. But um, yeah. She got caught short, and it's our fault for not grabbing the door soon enough. But this is realistic. Welcome to my life. This was from Tesco's. And I think, on that note, that concludes the tour. I don't think there's anything else autumnal in here. Um, so, yeah. If that wasn't just the worst autumnal home tour that you've ever did see, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. Um... I'll always be realistic on this channel. That's one thing you can't have me for. Um, but yeah, just a little talk. That's all I do really for autumn because I just feel like Christmas comes around so quick and I feel like doing too much is just a lot to do and then you've got Christmas to prepare for. However, closer to Halloween, we've got some stuff that we get out. Um, I think I showed it in my haul, so maybe go back and watch that video, like candy jars and stuff like that and then we Halloween it up a little bit. But honestly, I just don't know where time's going. So before we know it, it's going to be Christmas. And like I say, I just, I struggled to get enough time to even pop all of that up. So yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you at my next one. Bye.